Hi, welcome to Let's Play Math, where we play some games, learn some math, and have some fun. This is part 9 in our series on fractions. It's called Adding and Subtracting Fractions Advanced. Way back in part 4, you learned that adding fractions is easy as long as their denominator is the same. So 1 fourth plus 2 fourths equals 3 fourths. But what if they have different denominators? What's 1 third plus 1 twelfth? We need to find equivalent fractions with the same denominator, a common denominator. In this case, that's easy. 12 is divisible by 3. 3 times 4 equals 12. So if we multiply the top by that same number, 1 times 4 equals 4, you can see that 1 third equals 4 twelfths. And 4 twelfths plus 1 twelfth is easy. The answer is 5 twelfths. How about 1 third plus 1 half? This time the denominators aren't the same and they aren't neatly divisible either. An easy trick is to multiply the denominators together. So we take 1 third and multiply the top and the bottom by 2. 1 times 2 is 2 and 3 times 2 is 6. 1 third equals 2 sixths. And we take 1 half and multiply the top and the bottom by 3. 1 times 3 is 3, and 2 times 3 is 6. 1 half equals 3 sixths. So 1 third plus 1 half equals 2 sixths plus 3 sixths. 2 plus 3 is 5, so the answer is 5 sixths. Back in Lesson 4, we played the first two levels of Fruit Shoot Fraction Edition on ShepardSoftware.com. Now you're ready for Level 3. You can practice in relaxed mode or beat the clock. Just watch the cursor for a problem. 1 fourth plus 1 eighth? Well, 1 fourth equals 2 eighths, so that's 2 eighths plus 1 eighth, or 3 eighths. I click on the fruit that says 3 eighths and score. When you're ready, you can try the advanced levels of fruit shoot fraction subtraction as well. Just remember, the more you practice, the easier it'll get. Now, type SHEP into your favorite search engine to find shepherdsoftware.com. Click on Math Games, then on Fractions, and then on Fraction Edition and try it for yourself. We'll see you again next time for another episode of Let's Play Math.